For this one, there will be more questions on the next slide. I'll quickly show you. We've got a part two to the same question. All right, so we've got a 1.1 and a 1.2. The owner of a small company wishes to establish whether advertising in a regional, blah, 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 stuff so boring, um, these stories that they give. The table below shows the amount spent on advertising and the corresponding sales figures. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Um, we've got the amount spent on advertising. So this is the amount spent on advertising in rands. And then this is how many sales they made. So what they're doing is they're spending money. This is what businesses do in real life. You spend money to advertise. Okay, so they spent money to advertise. And then from the advertising, they wanna see how many sales did they get. And so for example, when they spent 21,000 Rand on advertising, they made 311,000 Rand in um, sales. When they spent 40,000 Rand, then they made a lot more money on sales. So the question, the first question says, determine the equation. Okay, so we know that in um, grade 12, uh, statistics, we've got a line of best fit. It's a line, it's a straight line. And the equation is y equals, we don't use mx plus c, we use a plus bx. Now the a value and the b value are things that you're gonna go find on your calculator. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Okay, okay, so I don't know why the, I can't make the calculator bigger, but anyways, um, you're gonna press mode and you're gonna put your calculator into stat mode. Um, now, if it was a grade 11 kind of question, you would go to the one minus VAR, but instead we are in grade 12 uh, statistics right now, so we're gonna use this option that says A plus BX, so that's gonna be option number two. Now you're just gonna go put your XY values, so the X is the top ones, and then the Y is the bottom one. So I'm not gonna show you how I fill all of that in, it's pretty straightforward, you just press the number, press equals, and then you keep going. So I entered all the values, I then pressed the AC button, then I'm gonna go to um, shift, and then I'm gonna go to this number one over here. And if it was grade 11, once again, you would go to VAR, but now we're going to five, which stands for regression, and we're busy finding a regression line. Now, the important parameters we need for that formula, remember I said the formula is Y equals to A plus B X. So we need A and B. We also, if you look at question 1.1.3, they asked us for a correlation coefficient. That is R. So we might as well go get all three parameters. So the way you do it is you press one for A, press one, then press equals. I just wanna write these values down on a piece of paper so long. So that's 18470.1866. Then to find B, you go do the same thing. You say shift one, uh, regression again, and then you find B, and then you press equals. 13, 13.29072702, 13 and then we're gonna go get the correlation coefficient, so you just press shift one again, number five, regression, and then three, and then always press equals. There we have it, 0 0.9754684. Okay, so we have all three parameters now. So what we found was that A, we got a value of um, 18470. Now I'm gonna round off to um, 0.19. Then for B, we got 13.29. And then for R, we got 0 0.98, if you round that up. So for the equation, here we have it. We're just gonna get Y equals to uh, let, we're gonna run out of space there. So we can just say y equals to 18470.19 plus 13.29x. So there's our equation. So once you've entered all the values, just press AC, then you're just gonna press shift, then the number one, then you're gonna go to five, which is regression. On your calculator, it might be different. I'm using the silver calculator. Um, but you might be using the normal pink, black, or blue one, um, which is what I used when I was in high school. And I think it's got slightly different settings. Um, this is the only one I could find online. But you wanna press the button that is regression, R-E-G. So you press that. And then to get A, you just press the number for A, press equals. 
let me just write that down on a piece of paper, 1730.22. Then to get B, you just go back to that same menu and then always press equals. Equals, there we go, 13.96. Then I'm gonna go get R as well because you see in question 1.1.3, they're gonna ask us for the correlation coefficient later on and that's just R. So we're just gonna go back there, press five, um, press th three for R and press equals, 0 0.98. So we can go, I just want to go write those values down now. So A we got as 1730.22. B we got as 13.96. Uh, and then R is 0 0.98. So if we write out the equation, then you're just going to say um, Y equals to A, which is 1730.22 plus B, which is 13.96 X. This one predict the sales, so get the y value when the x value is 28,500. So don't use the table, no, now you have an equation. So we know that the x value, because that's your advertising spend, that's x, then we can just use this equation to work that out. So y equals 1730.22 plus 13.96 and the x value is 28,500. And if we calculate that, just put your calculator back into normal um, operating mode. Okay, and that's gonna give us, let me write the answer over here, 399590.22 Rand. The next question for only one mark, write down the correlation coefficient. Well, that's R and we worked it out already. Now this one says, I hate these questions. Describe the association between the amount spent on advertising. Okay, this one's not bad, but sometimes these questions can be really weird. Describe the association between the amount spent on advertising and the sales. Okay, so remember that your R value tells you how correlated are these numbers with these numbers. So this R value tells you, is there a pattern or is there not a pattern? Because maybe um, when you increase the amount on advertising, maybe the sales won't go up. So the R value is what helps us to decide if there is a relationship between the values or not. So remember, we've spoken about this before, your teachers probably mentioned it, your textbook has it, but different R values mean different things. So if your R value is a very small number, then it means that there is a very weak correlation between the numbers. But when your R value is equal to one, that is a perfect um, correlation. Anything above 0 0.8 is considered very strong. If it's a negative number, like negative 0 0.98, that is also extremely strong. As long as it's close to one or minus one, it is very strong. The negative just means that um, as these values go up, these values are gonna go down. But that is still a very good relationship. If the one goes up and the one goes down, then businesses can use that information to help predict. But if these ones are going up and then some of these are going down and some of these are going up, then that would be called a weak correlation, okay? So 0 0.98 is a very strong correlation. So what we can say is that there is a very strong positive correlation between amount spent on advertising, amount spent on advertising and sales. Let's move on to the next part of this question. The profit that the company made over the same nine years, what do they mean by the same nine years is given? Oh, profit, of course, okay. So this was year number one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven, year eight, year nine. The amount of sales, some of you are like, Kevin, isn't the sales the profit? No, the sales is how much money the company actually made from selling the items. But from that money, they then have to go and pay all of the people who work for the company, they have to pay for all of the 
equipment, they have to pay for all of these things. And after they've paid for everything, um, that is where they make the profit. So I know that a lot of you probably do e-commerce or drop shipping. Um, so I'll give you an example. Um, in drop shipping, when you're selling items and things like that, um, typically to get your drop shipping business to scale rapidly, they use things like Google adverts, um, Facebook ads, TikTok ads. So and then and then and then on the shop when you log into your drop shipping shop like your spot your your um Shopify I always say Spotify on Shopify and I always get them mixed up but um <laughs> like the other day I wanted to use my Spotify to listen to music but I was with my brother and I'm like hey bro can we put Shopify on <laughs> and he's like wait what so yeah um so your Shopify dashboard you would see how many sales you've made but then that isn't your profit because maybe you also have to spend money on advertising, you have to spend money on other things. Maybe you've got team members that you pay to work for you and so your sales is not your profit. So here we can see the sales was 311,000 Rand but look at the profit, it's only 110,000. Here in year number two, your sales was 326,000 but your profit is only 107,000. Okay, so it's probably a lot of extra information. We won't actually need to know that for this question, but let's just um, carry on. So here it says calculate the profit made over the nine years, the mean. Now what is mean? Mean stands for average. Now you can do this on your calculator um, because we've already put all the information on our calculator. It could work, but what I told learners is just go do it the normal way. So we're just gonna go add all of these numbers together so 110,750 plus 107,376 plus 152,338 plus 244,480. Um, you, you understand what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna add all of the numbers together and then I'm gonna divide by how many numbers there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers. And if you had to go do all of that on your calculator, you should eventually end up with 172,000 Rand um, 466, 172,466 point one one. So uh, let's just fill that in, 172,466.11. The next one says write down the standard deviation. Now this one you will do on a calculator. There is a long way to do it without a calculator that they show us in class. I don't know why they show us that in class because they never ask it in the exams, but that's a long way to do it. Um, this you're just gonna do on a calculator. So let me show you. Um, this is actually now a grade 11 kind of question. So we can actually, um, we're gonna have to reinsert all of the data on our calculator. So let's go get those. So let's pretend your calculator was back in normal mode. So you're gonna go back into stat mode. Now we're in grade 11 kind of statistics. So we're gonna go um, one minus VAR. And now you see there's not an X and a Y, there's just an X. So you can, some of you might have a frequency column, that's fine. So you're just gonna go enter all of the values now and then press equals and then just keep entering all the values. Once you've entered all the values, press AC, shift one. Now remember we are in grade 11 statistics now, so we're gonna go to, um, which one was it, 04, VAR, or whichever it is in your calculator. Now, that X with the line at the top, that is actually how to calculate the average, so you could have done that for 1.2.1. Um, but for standard deviation, it's the funny symbol with the apple. So it's number three on this one. So you press three, press equals, and there is your standard deviation, um, 56950.09 if we round to two decimals. Let me just write that down quickly. 56950.09. So it was um, five, six, probably we should actually say rand, um, five, six, Nine five zero point zero nine. Now it says determine the number of years in which the company made a profit that was greater than one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, so the mean is this number. So you take that number, 172466.11. Now it says determine the number of years in which the company's profit was one standard deviation, which is that number, above the mean. Okay, so we're just gonna add 56,950.09 and let's just see what that gives us. That'll be 229, 416.2 and then just say 20 because it's money. So it says determine the number of years when the profit was more than that. 
Okay, so let's see how many years the profit was more than that. Well, it wasn't there, it wasn't there, it wasn't there. Uh, this one is yes. This one is a no, this one is a yes, this one is a no, a no, and a no. So it's only going to be two years. So two years. If they said two standard deviations, then you'll just add two of these. Okay. And if they said less than, well, then you would just minus. Um, you would take this number and you would minus that one.